Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a collective haul. I've actually been collecting these things for the past couple of months, so I'm really embarrassed that I'm only just filming it now. So I'm going to start off with my Bath & Body Works stuff. So I kind of have a little bit of an array of things from Bath & Body Works. Last year around for the holidays, I kind of went crazy with all of their like hand sanitizers and soaps and candles. This year I felt like I still had a lot left over from last year. But last year I mentioned that I wasn't super crazy about the wallflower uh, plug type things. This year however I did see a bunch that I liked and they had a special promotion on them. So the first one here is a snowflake and this is just a sparkly glittery snowflake. The next one here is this Christmas tree one and it's just two Christmas trees and it kind of looks like they've tried to make it look as if it's bronze with that kind of like patina from like oxidizing or whatever. I think it's really pretty. And if it seems like I'm being a little bit low energy, it's just because it's really late now. It's taken me a long time to sit up for this video and um, I don't want to wake anyone up. So um, the next one here is this reindeer one and it's just a sparkly reindeer with a little holly collar which I think is so cute and then the last one I have is this like acorns or I'm not sure but I thought this was really cute too it almost looks like they tried to like make it look flocked except that it's a little bit chunkier so I got a couple hand sanitizers and I always grab a bunch of hand sanitizers uh, because I like to use them as stocking stuffers so I got iced gingerbread and then I got Ginger Snap, which I don't actually think I remember smelling. And then I got Salted Caramel, and the Salted Caramel actually really does smell like Salted Caramel. It smells really, really yummy. And then I got Merry Cookie. This is one of my favorite candles to have in the kitchen around the holidays. Uh, so I thought I would grab a little hand sunny of it as well. And then I got a ton of their fragrance bulbs for the uh, wallflowers. So I got Sweater Weather, and this is actually my favorite fall candle that they make. This and autumn are amazing. I got winter, which is a very kind of cool scent. This is my favorite candle for the winter time. I think it smells very like cold. There's some of those like balsam notes to it. The next one I have here is fresh balsam, which is kind of pretty self-explanatory. It smells like Christmas trees. I always get real Christmas trees, so I always have that scent kind of lingering around my house anyways. But I like to have these around just to kind of enhance that smell because I think it smells so Christmassy and so festive. So the last one I have here is Frosted Cranberry. Uh, it smells very similar, if not almost identical, to the Body Shop Cranberry Oil that they always have. And it smells heavenly. It's my favorite Body Shop scent. But that's why I like this one so much is because it reminds me a lot of that. So I have a few more, and I think these are just actually duplicates of what I already have here. So moving on, I got a couple of the little scent portable things for the car. And I used to get these all the time in the past, and I loved them. And I really wanted to have more of a festive smell in the car, so picked up a couple of these. I got a little reindeer, and then I got a little wreath with a red bow. And then I got a candle. This is called Merry Mistletoe. And it smells very Christmassy. This one says that it is a flirty blend of cranberries, pears, frosted citrus, and a hint of holiday greenery. I definitely think that description is on point. The next candle I got is Frosted Cranberry, and fortunately I've already described this one for you guys, and it smells amazing. I actually have never bought one of their candles before in this scent, but I think I'm going to really enjoy this one. I got the Twisted Peppermint Candle. I really liked the hand soap that I got for this last year. I thought it smelled really, really Christmassy. It smells like candy canes. A little bit sweeter than candy canes, though, I find. And I'm really excited to burn this one because I love having really sweet or kind of confectionery type smelling candles when I'm baking holiday treats in the kitchen. I actually have another bag that has wallflowers in it and I had no idea. So I got this, I guess, owl wallflower plug, which is good because I think this is one that you can kind of have around all year round. And it's very heavy. They've really stepped up their game with their wallflowers. I feel like in the past they were kind of cheap and plasticky. I have so many of those ones and now I feel like they're really heavy and really nice quality. Um, so kudos to them for doing such a good job on their wallflower plugs. And then I have a little squirrel. This one's actually not as heavy as this one, but I think the price also reflects that. So then I have a candle in here. And the candle I have is this Marshmallow Fireside. I love the packaging on these ones. I think they're so pretty. I love the little kind of 
motif there and it has that like kind of smoky woodsy smell to it like you're at a fireside and then also some really sweet notes as well so I really like this one I got the hot buttered rum scented candle I thought the packaging was really cute and I really like the scent of this one and I'm sorry these are kind of all out of order but I like I said got them in different batches so they're kind of all mismatched this one smells very similar to I think the caramel pumpkin latte or something or pecan buttered waffles I can't remember but it smells very similar to one of those candles and then I got oh isn't this so cute it's a little nutcracker um what's it called hand sanitizer holder when I saw it I knew I had to get it for Sebastian because he loves nutcrackers he loves gingerbread nutcrackers basically everything that reminds him of home and so I got this for him with one of the little um gingerbread hand sanitizers. So the last candle in this bag is this one here, another white barn one. And this is the autumn candle. This is my second one from this year. I burned through the first one like in a ridiculously short amount of time because I loved it so much. It smells so good. It's got kind of like an apple outdoor smell to it. So the last thing that I think I got from Bath and Body Works was this vanilla bean at Noel. Uh, sparkling snowflake scrub and I got this for my sister because she's obsessed with this smell I got the um, hand sanitizer for her a couple years ago I think when they first introduced it and she was so obsessed with it every year I always buy her the hand sanitizers and I thought I would just like switch it up and give her something a little bit different so I also picked up a couple things from Sephora during the VIB sale and I thought I was gonna go crazy and buy a ton of stuff but for whatever reason I wasn't really excited about it. I went down to the store, which was kind of a mistake during that whole thing because it was so crazy. And a lot of the things I really liked were sold out. So the first thing here is a backup of my foundation that I used during the winter, which is the Laura Mercier Silk Cream. I love this foundation for winter because it gives you a really nice glowy finish, especially because my skin tends to get drier during the winter. And then I got a makeup brush, one that I've been wanting to try. This is the Makeup Forever 226 brush. It's just a shader brush, but what I wanted to try it for was because it's really smooth. I feel like it's a good brush for applying metallic or um, pearlized shadows because you get that more metallic finish almost as if you're applying it with your finger. So I really, really like this one. I've actually been using it. So the next thing I got is the Too Faced La Belle Carousel, and this is Carousel. <laughs> La Belle Carousel. Carousel, now I don't even know how to say it. This is one of their holiday sets this year, and this is the one that I liked the most. There was one that was, I think, a couple dollars more expensive than this that I was going to get, but I felt like I had a lot of very similar colors and I think even some of the actual colors that were in the set, so I didn't go for it. Then I also liked the concept that each of these little um, things here are actually individual palettes, so it says that it has 12 eyeshadows, 2 blushes, 2 bronzers, and a deluxe size Better Than Sex mascara, all in 6 individual giftable palettes. So I have one last thing from Sephora, and it is the Clarisonic Deep Pore Cleansing Brush. And I've been using my brush head for longer than the three months that they recommend you use it for. So I thought I would upgrade to a new one. And this one got a lot of good reviews online. So apparently with this one, the inside portion moves in the opposite direction of the outside portion. This one is apparently really good for deep cleansing or deep clean, deep cleaning your um, pores especially around like the sides of your nose and your forehead and areas that can get a little bit more congested so moving on i actually got two things from aldo and one of them is a scarf my friend was over here visiting me and she was wearing this circle scarf from aldo that was like this maroony burgundy color like kind of like a wine color and i thought it looked amazing and she told me it was from Aldo, and I really liked the way that it kind of fell perfectly. It wasn't like too thick or um, too kind of loose and limp. It was just like the perfect, like the right amount of volume, if that makes sense. And they did actually have the wine one that she was wearing, but I was like, if we hang out and I wear the same scarf as her, it's gonna be weird, so I might as well get a different color. So the next thing I got is actually a hat, and it's a style of hat that I've wanted for a very long time, but I had a very hard time finding. And what made me want this hat was actually the movie King Kong. 
uh, with Naomi Watts. She was wearing this like plush hat or bell hat. I'm not sure what they're actually called. And I think they're so beautiful and so elegant. And yeah, I'm really excited about this. I'm going to show you guys uh, what I got from Maritzia and I only have one thing from there but it's a pretty significant thing because it's something I've wanted for a really long time but just never ended up getting because it's quite a, it's a more pricey item. This summer I got a gift card for my birthday so it made the difference a really like insignificant amount that I had to pay. So it's a jacket and it's one like I said I've wanted for a very long time. It's called the Howl Wool Coat in Black. It almost has that like military coat feel to it because it's got the buttons down both sides and a high neck and it's got very structured shoulders. So for Lush, I actually went a little bit crazy. I haven't actually bought anything from their holiday, personally bought anything from their holiday collection in a couple years now. I was just kind of like kid in the candy store and couldn't help myself so I got a ton of stuff. So this first thing here is the Starlight Star Bright luxury bath melt and I'm just reading it off the Lush website because I wouldn't be able to remember the names without it. This reminds me a lot of uh, my favorite like permanent Lush bubble bar which is Sunnyside and so when the girl described this to me I knew I had to get it. I feel like I have silver on my face right now. I probably do because this one is just spreading everywhere. It is spreading at the Christmas cheer and look melting all over me. Ugh. I always get really nervous if I drop my Lush bag too hard because there's so many delicate things in there that could just like shatter in a moment's notice. This next thing here is... I got this stuff so long ago I just realized that they still had their like Halloween stuff out. I don't even know what this one was called but I feel like it was something pumpkin-y. Okay, so I just looked this one up online just to tell you guys what it was called and this was called the Sparkly Pumpkin Bubble Bar. But really there's no use in me going over this one because it's not even available anymore so it's kind of redundant. So this next one here, oh I remember this one. I was so excited about this. So this is a little hedgehog. I think it's like this is a hedgehog. So this is called the, oh my gosh, it actually is called the Christmas Hedgehog. It's so cute. I got this because I actually have a hedgehog named Sonic and I love him. And it reminded me of him and I was like, how could I go to Lush, see a little hedgehog and not get it? I had to get it. This says it is a soothing floral friend. So I'm really excited to use this little guy. I'll probably use this one first just because I'm so excited. I mean, it's a little hedgehog. How cute is that? So the next thing here I got is actually from our permanent collection and this is one I was talking about earlier. This is my favorite bubble bar from Lush and it is the Sunnyside bubble bar. This leaves your bath water in the most amazing like it looks like there's a galaxy in your bath. It has the finest like shimmer and it's not like chunky glitter or anything but it almost looks like there's like these streaks of like the Milky Way in your bath. It's so beautiful. And in the past it had really chunky sparkly glitter on the outside. But now they have these little gold flecks that almost looks like it's little pieces of like gold leaf. And I think it's so beautiful. And even though I already have a couple of these um, as backups, I thought I would get this because I really like the way that it looks now with the gold little flecks. So this next one here is called Holly Go Lightly and... It's a bubble bar, but I guess when I just dropped the bag, I broke it. And it's really cute. It's like a big silvery bubble bar with this holly on top. This one says warm, spicy, and oh so cozy. So the next one in here is this little angel and it's so beautiful. My camera's not really picking it up very well because it's kind of overexposed. So this one's the Snow Angel Luxury Bath Melt and it says Creamy Almond Luxury. It smells so nice and I don't know if you could just see that but I like breathed a little bit too heavy and shimmer just kind of went flying. So there's like sparkles in the air now. So this next bag I have something I've been wanting to try for a long time. Actually since last year and this is something I had bought someone else for 
a stocking stuffer and when I saw it I was like I want it too but I didn't really want to pay I think it's like ten dollars or something like that and this is the Santa's lip scrub and apparently it tastes like coca-cola which is what really made me want to get it it smells like coca-cola cola flavored sugary scrub for a sweet polished pout so the last thing that I got from Lush is the luxury Lush pad I have one of the older ones upstairs that was like the traditional ones and I apologize for the sirens going off it sounds like they're really close to me which makes me feel a little bit nervous I don't know why this was so colorful and bright and they told me like they really suck you into these things when you're in the store you're like oh I have it already but I need another one so this one says lavender bath time luxury Drop this luxuriously relaxing balm in the tub and watch a, as a kaleidoscope of colored polka dots float to the surface, making pastel islands in the water. So that actually wasn't the last thing. I also got this soap, and this is the Yognog soap. I'd actually got this, gotten this for Sebastian because he's so obsessed with eggnog. So I wouldn't say it smells like eggnog at all, kind of, but it does definitely have like a very spicy, warm scent to it, and I can tell it's going to be a very moisturizing soap because it's starting to like melt in my hands and I can feel like the oil's kind of being released. So I'm sure he will love that. That was all I had for my haul. I hope it wasn't too long for you guys. So I'm going to end it here because I think this video is going to probably be on the longer side. And let me know if you have any requests for future videos in the description, not the description, in the comments below because I always love reading what you guys would like to see. I hope you guys are enjoying the holidays and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.